All right, gang. This is a quick uh, little video I'm going to make. Somebody called me and asked me how to wire a air conditioning compressor, like in a hot rod or a race car or, you know, mostly a hot rod looking deal. But um, they don't want it. They put it to like an LS swap. So they ran, they're running the air conditioning, but you could do this with anything. They all work the same. The only thing you're looking for is this is your compressor. If the compressor only has one wire coming out of it, right, that one wire goes to the clutch on the compressor. That's what activates the compressor, okay? So the compressor itself grounds through the housing of the compressor when it's grounded to the engine, and then obviously that's grounded to the chassis, okay? So that's your chassis, okay, um, engine, okay? And then the engine is grounded to the chassis. The chassis is grounded back to the battery, okay? So you got to make sure you got to ground on the battery, obviously. Okay, this is wired with a high and a low pressure switch. So this is a 40 amp relay. You need a 40 amp relay. Okay, if you look at the back of the relay, the relays have numbers on them. Look real close. 87, 85, uh, 87, 85, 86, and a 30. Okay, the switch that's on your dashboard or a toggle switch or however you're going to activate your air conditioner, all right? So when you put the air conditioner on, it's going to have positive. You need it. It's got to be a positive, okay? Positive wire goes to uh, lead 85. So you're going to have a plug that plugs onto that relay. The pigtail's coming off of that. Um, your best bet is just buy a relay that already has a pigtail made up. Okay, they come together. You can get them from JEG, Summit, whatever. They're like 20 bucks or something. You can. They're the same relay for a fan relay. Uh, fuel pump relay, they're all basically the same. 40 amp relay is what you want. They make 30 amp relays too. Um, you could use a 30 amp relay. 40 amp rel relays, a little bit stronger, a little bit heavier duty. If you can't find a 40, use a 30, but I would recommend doing a 40. Okay, you're going to need a 20 amp inline fuse. So, the wire coming out of the compressor, again, it's a one wire deal. Goes right to uh, terminal 87. The dash on off switch, positive when you turn the switch on, check it with a light, with a test light, it has to be positive, that goes to terminal 85, okay? Terminal 30 is your live, that's hot all the time through a fuse. So that comes directly from the battery, okay, directly to that. Here's the confusing part that everybody doesn't get, but very simple. 86 gets ground. That's what triggers that the that's what triggers this relay to turn this on. Okay? So normally this would just be grounded, okay? And as soon as you turn on the switch, you're completing this little circuit between here and here, which turns this on. So there's like a little switch in here. This little switch gets turns that on. This gets activated, that turns that on. That's all a relay is, okay? So now what you're doing is instead of grounding it directly. It goes in one side of the high pressure switch and then one side of the low pressure switch. Okay? And then the other side of that wire gets grounded. They're all in a, in a, in the, it's all one continuous thing. If you don't have, this, this is set up on the low side of the air conditioning compressor of the system. Okay? If it goes too low, that's not going to make a contact, breaks ground, this won't work. If this one breaks, breaks contact because the switch is too high, it's also going to do the same thing. So this switch has to be on the low side. This switch has to be on the high side. Okay? And when they make, when this is low and this is high, that'll make that connection with this on, and it'll connect that. Pretty simple. Um, I know it gets confusing when you start looking at a whole mess of wires, but this is the easiest way to do it. There's also, you could put a wide open throttle switch, wide open throttle switch in here, same thing, that gets tagged into this ground. So that at wide open throttle, it breaks the contact again, and you don't have a compressor spinning at like six, seven, eight thousand RPM, like if you're racing or something. But I would just suggest turn it off and don't worry about it. Obviously, you ain't you're not racing with the compressor going. Okay? So that's just a safety feature that they that you could put into it. So if you want to do that, wire it right into it. Okay? Hopefully that helps you out. And uh let me know how you make out with this stuff. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, have a great time.